Okay, we'll continue reading in 1 John chapter 4. And, um, and we'll start at uh, verse 17 again. It says, Herein is our love made perfect or complete, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Notice how this is worded. It states that as Yahuwah is, so are we in this world. Not after we die and go to heaven, but as he is, so are we now. Now, of course, it's talking about in reference to this realm of the Ruach and the realm of the Spirit. And uh, as I shared in my past sessions, you know, we we're just waiting for our body to be redeemed. We still live in a fallen nature and a flesh that still, uh, if we yield to the flesh, it will lead us into death, into corruption. Um, but in the realm of the Spirit is life. Paul said, walk in the Spirit and you'll not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know, until the, until the rapture takes place or, you know, at that point, you know, then we will receive our glorified bodies. And at that point, you'll no longer be subject to sin. You'll no longer be subject to the weaknesses of the flesh. But it says here that we can have boldness. Now, boldness here is not being arrogant. It's being confident. And you're confident knowing that as Yahusha is, so are we. In other words, he has become our righteousness. He has imputed to us his righteousness. It's been given as a free gift. You can't earn righteousness. The scripture says over in Ephesians chapter 2, For by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It's the gift of Yahuwah. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So we see and understand that the righteousness that we stand in has to be the righteousness of the Mashiach. And so there's a lot of people today that are that try to put uh, people in bondage and, and telling people that they have to uh, you know walk a certain way that that just not but just in believing about the Messiah as their Savior but there's a lot of things they add to their salvation in other words their works will be also determined whether they're saved or not and this is totally inaccurate totally against what the scripture has to teach it doesn't give us a license to go sin, but it, it, it gives us the freedom to walk above sin when we do miss it. I've never enjoyed whenever, since I've came to know him as my Savior, Yahushua as my Savior, I've never enjoyed a time where I have fallen and, uh, you know, uh, enjoyed that at all. <laughs> I mean, there's truly a repentance. And if you're truly born of the Ruach HaKadosh, the set-apart spirit, you're not looking away to sin. You're looking away out of it. So I want to encourage you today that recognize that it's not your righteousness that, that, you're, called, that you're justified before the Creator, but it's His. And keep your faith and trust in Him. Cast all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. If you do sin and miss it, 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that cleansing of unrighteousness it's cleansing your consciousness of the fact that you've fallen. And, uh, but once we act in faith, trusting in his word, he said he's faithful and just to forgive you. May those words bring comfort to you today, knowing that. Until next time, shalom.